Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is week 16 and 17 update for my pregnancy. I didn't upload a 16 week English YouTube video, but um, I just wanted to recap everything that happened last week and this week in this video and send it out to you guys. So I wanted to talk a little bit about my symptoms. They have not changed too much. Um, I don't have any heartburn. I mentioned last video that I had heartburn, but that only lasts like a day and a half. So I really don't have any heartburn. Um, I do have stuffy ears. So like my ears feel, you know, when you go to like a mount, like a high elevated mountain or you're traveling to like, I don't know, somewhere a different elevation than you're used to and your ears pop and you can't hear after that. It all seems kind of stuffy and muggy that's pretty much what I have been experiencing I can't hear anything I mean I can hear but it's really like my ears are popped um, so I've been having some of that going on and I think it's affecting my sinuses and the way my voice sounds in my last couple of videos and in this video probably as well um, so I think it's all intertwined and related Another symptom that I have been having is that I cannot sleep at night. I struggle a lot with being able to fall asleep. So I end up falling asleep like at 2 in the morning and then I wake up like at 4 in the morning. And then I can't go back to sleep and then I need to get up and go to work. So although I have gotten my energy back this second trimester, I still feel tired throughout the day sometimes. And I think it's just because I have a lack of sleep. So that's another symptom. Um, I had two more symptoms and I can't remember what I was going to say about my symptoms. But if I remember throughout the video, then I'll go ahead and share them. Oh, yeah, my biggest symptom ever, so before we move on, is I have baby brain. I have major, major baby brain. So the other day, and I'll just tell you a little bit about how bad it's been. The other day I went to the store and I bought you know, whatever I was there to buy. And I ended up leaving and the lady at the register had to call me back and was like, you, ma'am, you didn't take any of your stuff. And I guess that's happened to me before even I was pregnant, but it just happens with more frequency now. And I don't know where my brain is going. I don't know like where my mind is going. I also say some of the oddest things and I do some of the oddest things like putting Clorox in the refrigerator. I don't know why I probably was cooking and thought it was milk or something. <laughs> I have no idea why I put the, the Clorox in the refrigerator, but a couple people laugh at that one and I'm just like, yeah. Or opening my car door with my house keys. That doesn't work, but apparently I tried doing that too. So yeah, just baby brain, like major baby brain. <laughs> That's my number one symptom right now. Um, saying and doing some of the oddest and funniest things just because my mind is not there like I it's not that I space out it's just that I don't like I don't realize a lot of things that I'm doing or that I say and it just comes out wrong or I do things that are just really silly so anyways um so I went to motherhood and if you know of anybody that is pregnant or if you want to gift someone that is pregnant a couple of things I do recommend that you go visit the motherhood store they have a lot of things and you can find items on sale but the neat part is that you get to register and they'll give you a bag like this and in this bag they have tons here I'll show you on this side they have tons and tons of coupons so you have coupons for like babies R Us, bye bye baby Carters um, just a bunch you save a lot and Within those coupons, they give you um, gift cards. So these are gift cards right here. And I'll pull that closer to you. But one is $50 for a uh, pillow pregnancy. The other one is for baby books. $60 for ruffle buns. Those are really cute. And $50 for little leggings. Those are especially adorable if you have a little girl. So those are completely free because they're gift cards. And then my favorite part about that bag is that you receive, um, you receive these. It's like a little congratulations on your new baby gift set, and it is worth hundred and sixty-five dollars. So you get a 
you get a car seat canopy and then you get a breastfeeding cover-up, um, a nursing pillow, and a baby sling. So I will be using those and then I will be doing a product review for you guys in the future. Um, I'll also link down in the description box the links to those stores so you guys can go check them out if you wish. They actually did give me this bottle and it, it says Little Pumpkin. So, I mean, that's really cute because it's the holidays and we're in Halloween season and I do plan to, you know, take a picture with my baby using this little cute pacifier and then there's a bottle down here and that was free. Um, I forgot to mention. <laughs> That this is also included in the motherhood bag. It's a little baby bottle. And that pretty much covers today's 16 through 17 week of pregnancy. I will be, be showing you guys my baby butt now. Um, so stay tuned. So this is my baby bump. And these are kind of shirts I usually typically wear during this time of year. Because it's not cold right now but it's it's uh it's not too hot either um but let's see what do I guys show you so I don't know if you can see my little baby but but I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell in this um, shirt, but that is my baby bump. And we had a friend over, and I thought I had mentioned it to him and his wife that I was pregnant, but I guess I hadn't mentioned it to them. I had mentioned it to their parents, um, and they have known for a while, but our friends didn't. I figured they knew because we had told their parents, but I guess the news didn't go down. <laughs> to my friends and anyways um our guy friend was like you don't even look pregnant you need to eat more your phone's pregnant and he's like no way there's no way you're pregnant but i guess on some days you can tell and on other days you can't and i i wear a pretty loose fitting shirts like this i have a lot of them um so they cover like my belly and my butt and i'm comfortable in them and they're like see-through material it's really thin but you can't see what you're wearing underneath so it's not completely see-through it's just really lightweight and comfortable and so it's been easy for me to kind of manage my wardrobe for now but in the future I know I'm going to need more maternity clothes and so I will be doing a maternity clothes haul for you guys in the future hey guys I forgot to mention that next week we do find out if the baby is going to be a boy or a girl so Please stay tuned and watch our next video next week to find out the big news. Comment below if you think it's a boy or a girl and it'll be fun to find out. A lot of people think that it's going to be a girl and then some people think it's going to be a boy. I went to go visit my cousin the other day and she told me about a wife's tale where you pretty much put two chairs together next to each other and then you put like cushions on top of the chair but underneath the cushions you put a spoon on one chair and a, like a butter knife underneath the other chair and then you put the cushions on top of that and you invite whoever's pregnant to choose a chair, to pick a chair and to sit on one and if they sit on the one that has a spoon then it's a girl and if they sit on the one that has a butter knife then it's a boy and um, I ended up sitting down on the butter knife so I don't know, we'll see if it's a boy or if it's a girl. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, and comment on this video if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next week.